Let's take a look at uh, a floating input, okay? So your digital logic circuits can have three logic states. They can be high, low, or floating, or they call that high Z, high impedance. So we use uh, pull up and pull down resistors uh, to keep your MCU inputs high or low and prevent any undefined state at the input. You don't want the pins to be floating, okay? So this little circuit here is going to uh, tell us when it's floating, and then um, I'm going to actually put into a, another pin on the uh, MCU uh, to turn the output off if that pin actually is floating, okay? So how this is going to work is that we have, um, here's our uh, GPIO pin here, okay? And we have that tied to the center of a uh, two, two resistors. Now normally you just use one, we'd have a pull-up resistor or a pull-down resistor. I'm going to put both of them in there. And if we take this pin high, of course, they're going to have five volts out here. This is going to be high. And if we take it to, to ground, this is going to be ground. It's going to be low here. So that's fine. But if the pin is off for some reason, if it falls off or whatever, uh, it's going to be tied to the center of these two. And we're going to have 2.5 volts on this pin here, okay, going to our uh, uh, MCU. Now, uh, it's not going to like that. And now if you if you want, if you just put it into an analog pin and then you could read it, say, hey, I got 2.5 volts, you know, I think it's floating and then you could do whatever you want. But in this case, we're going to put it into a digital pin. OK, so uh, let's assume that we have uh, it's floating and we have 2.5 volts on here. That means up here and the positive here on this uh, um, comparator, we're going to have uh, 2.5 volts. And then down here, we're going to have 2.5 on the negative side down here. OK. So now we need a voltage reference. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another voltage divider with uh, three resistors in there. And so at this point here, we're going to have uh, two thirds the, uh, the, the uh, input voltage here. So we're going to have about 3.3 .3 volts on here. And that's going to go to the negative on this one. And then down here, we'll have one third of the voltage and it's going to go to the positive this one down here. So now these, uh, this comparator, it's a LM393. Uh, it's an open collector uh, comparator, okay? So all it is, it's, it's got a transistor here at the end, and it, it actually has just the open collector, a collector going out here, nothing tied to it. just goes out to this pin 7 or pin 1 up here, okay? And if the uh, um, p positive is lower than the negative, then it's going to go low, it's going to go to ground, okay? This... this uh, uh, transistor is going to activate and we're going to tie the ground here. Now, if it's the other direction, it's not going to do anything. Uh, if you want to go high, you have to physically add a pull-up resistor out here. But we're not putting a pull-up resistor on there, so it's just going to go low or, or, or it's not going to do anything, okay? So, right now, we've got uh, uh, the positive is lower than the negative here, so this one's going to go low, okay? And then on this one here, the uh, uh, the positive is, lo is lower than the, the uh, negative here, so this one's going to go low here, okay? So these are going to both be low, and then we're going to, we have a couple uh, L uh, LEDs on here, just going to light up uh, when they're low, and then we're going to put that into a, a NOR gate, okay? And a NOR gate, the, when the outputs are both low, the input's going to go high, okay? Now, what happens if I do tie this to, to high here? This is going to go high, so that means we're going to have 5 volts here and 5 volts down here. And so if we have 5 volts on here, this is going to be higher than the, uh, the positive is going to be higher than the negative. So this is going to go high, okay? And down here, this one's still going to be low because it's still going to be higher than that one, okay? So this, is going to want, this will be high and this will be low. And this is going to be off over here because they both have to be low to, to put the output on. Now, if we go to ground, just the opposite, uh, this is going to be zero here, so this one's going to be low. This is going to be zero. The, this is higher the, than the uh, 1.6 volts here, so this is going to be high. So this will be high, this will be low, and the output will be off over, over here, okay? Now, once I I drew this circuit out, I looked at it, I said, wait a second, this it looks like a, a 555 timer, okay? In fact, I started with 10K. I put 5 in there just for fun. And uh, so... On a 555 timer, you have the same thing and the same reason. You have two-thirds and, and one-third voltage reference. And then you have a, a couple comparators in there. And they're hooked up the same way. 
and these two pins, well, this would be the trigger here, and this would be the threshold, and they're tied together, and they go to the center of a voltage divider. We have a, a resistor here, and then on this side here, they'll have a capacitor on here that charges and discharges, okay? And then coming out of the two comparators, uh, you don't go into your NOR gate, you go into a flip-flop, okay? So, uh, I mean, it looks just like a 5-5 five -five timer if you just take a, a glance at it, but this would be a flip-flop over here. And anyway, uh, but it uses the same principle, the one-third and two-third voltage, and then a couple comparators, okay? So, we're gonna, we'll give it a try. Here it is here. So, There we go. So I have the, uh, this is the output, or the uh, control pin here. And that's, this is the, uh, in the uh, Arduino here, this is, uh, this output is turned on, okay? So this one's low, this one's high, and the output is on. And then if I take it to ground here, uh, this one's high, this one's low, and the output is off here, okay? But now if I take the pin out, Okay, and floating, then the um, they're both high or they're both low, and and the uh, uh, this blue one here that's our uh, our NOR gate there, and then I put that into the uh, processor here, and I I turn this off. Okay, so uh, so it's it's off, so it's going to work fine that way. So if I put this back in here, then uh, the the output comes on, and when it's floating. The output doesn't come on okay now what happens is uh, here's a project I was working on and I'm gonna take this this what I did here is I have a uh, I have a couple control a couple pumps here and uh, I'm going to do it with one input okay if the input goes high I'm going to turn one of them on if the input goes low I'm going to turn the other one off okay so here it is i'm going to put it high put that on and uh, the unit comes on you can see that one yeah so this one here is running and it's an, it's high okay then if i go put it in the ground this one here is, is on and it's running it's high and i can do it with just one input okay trouble is if i take it out and it's floating it's uh, both of them are they're just going crazy they're both trying to go on and uh, you know you're going to ruin the pumps so uh, if i add this circuit to it then i'll just shut it off when when this thing's not connected to, to a high or low okay so uh, that'll work fine there's other ways to do it but anyway uh, that's uh that's why a floating uh, input is bad because uh, the uh, controller is not going to know what to do they're just both trying to go so I'll probably burn those up if I do it too long. Anyway, that's your uh, your floating um, signal detection, and uh, uh, this thing it seems to work pretty good. Anyway, uh, that's 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 all I got. Uh, thank you.